What's going on guys, it is Panjana here and today I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Apex Legends Season 3. This video is going to be helping you guys achieve the very best FPS possible, regardless of your system specs, and we'll be providing configs, settings and optimizations for all PCs ranging from ultra low end potato laptops all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming hardware. If you guys have followed along with my previous FPS video for Season 2 of Apex Legends, or if this is your first time watching any of my content, make sure that you do follow along with as many steps inside of this video to make sure that you guys get the best results possible, as there are a ton of new fixes optimizations and settings including auto exec config commands and other optimizations in which we can apply with inside of this video to ensure that we are getting the very best fps possible for season three so if you guys did enjoy this video at the end of the video please do consider pressing the like button as it helps me out tremendously alongside leaving any results questions queries or suggestions for other content in that comment section down below is it's always fantastic to hear from you guys and if you guys do enjoy my content and wish to stay up to date with the channel whether that's for updated versions of the apex legends fps increase guide or other content coming to the channel please do consider pressing that subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever I upload. To kick things off you guys will need to navigate into the description down below and where you'll be finding two download links for an FPS increase pack. Simply click on the top download link if for some reason the first download link doesn't work or you're having issues downloading it, try out the second link, download the file and place it onto your desktop. Inside of here you'll be finding the Apex Season 3 FPS pack by myself. Once you've got the pack downloaded and it's on your desktop, what you guys need to go ahead and do is actually right click on the pack and select the option for Extract here. If you don't have the option for Extract here, you'll need to take yourself over to Google and either Google WinRAR or 7-Zip, download one of those programs, come back to this point in the video and you should then have the option to Extract here. Once you guys have selected the Extract here option, you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name. With inside of here, this is going to be all of the configs, commands, optimizations and everything we're going to need to have to follow along with this video. Again, if you've downloaded the season 2 or season 1 FPS pack by myself, make sure that you follow along with this season 3 one as there are many different optimizations and a lot of things have been tweaked for season 3 to give you the best performance possible. Now assuming that we're running on the best platform for optimizations possible, it's important that we create a system restore point before continuing on with this video. The reason we're going to be setting up a restore point, it's very simple and easy to do, is just to ensure that everyone watching this video can follow along with the video completely safely and if for any reason you want to revert everything back, change your files back, or if there's any changes you've made in which you wish to revert for any reason, it gives you the security and freedom to to do so. It's highly recommended that you apply this step before continuing on with this video and anyone can create a restore point. So to do this what we're going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side and typing in create restore just like so and you'll be given the tab for create a restore point found here. Go ahead and click on that button. You'll then be brought into the system properties system protection tab. With inside of here what we're then going to do is go down to the protection settings, go to the scroll down menu and we're going to be looking for the local disk C drive. Once you find your local disk C drive, highlight it just like so, so it's highlighted in blue. Go down to the bottom right hand side and click on the create button. With inside of here you're then going to want to name the restore point in case you wish to come back here and actually use it. So we'll just call this backup Apex Legends, just like so or anything that you can remember. After you've done that, click the create button and after a few moments time the restore point will be created. As you can see the restore point was successfully created, we can then close out, exit out the system properties and we can continue on knowing that if we do anything wrong or we don't wish to keep these settings, you can simply revert windows back to this point now. So with all the boring stuff out of the way, let's get straight on into the optimizations. We're going to start off by going inside of the FPS increase pack provided by double clicking. To start off with these, what we're going to be doing is actually applying some application fixes to the game exe itself. So we're going to be taking ourselves down to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the Windows button and typing in Apex Legends just like so. With inside of here the Apex Legends app will open up, what we're going to be doing is right clicking and selecting open file location. We'll then be brought to this tab found with inside of here. Once again, go to Apex Legends, right click and once again open file location. This will then bring you inside of the Apex Legends installation directory. What we're going to be doing inside of here is simply navigating down to the R5 Apex application which should be highlighted, if it's not, highlight it once right click and select properties. With inside of here, go to the compatibility tab, disable the full screen optimizations, click on change our DPI, override the high DPI scaling behavior, press OK, apply and OK. Once you guys have applied the optimization, we can then go ahead and simply exit out. Piggybacking off of that step to apply another application fix, it's important that you go inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, this time going inside of the optimizations folder and with inside of here you'll be met with a folder titled Apex Process Priority. Double click on the folder and you'll be met with three files. This will allow you to select the boot priority mode with inside of Apex Legends. So if you go with the Apex above normal priority key found here, this will boot the game in above normal priority every single time you boot it with inside of Windows. If you go with high priority, it will boot into high priority and normal priority will restore it back to the normal priority in which it boots in currently. For most people watching this video, you will be finding the best results going with Apex High Priority, but if you do run into any issues with this, you can always come back and reapply the normal priority. But for most people watching, double click on High Priority, select Yes, Yes, and that optimization has now been enabled, and Apex will always boot into High Priority with inside of Windows. That now leads us on to installing our optimized Season 3 FPS configs. 
To do this, we're going to be navigating inside of the FPS pack provided and going inside of the configs folder. With inside of here, just like my previous season two FPS pack, you'll be met with an in-game settings folder, high end, low end, competitive, recommended competitive and ultra low end configs. With inside of here for the best settings possible for your machine, if you wish to get the best visual fidelity and FPS, it's recommended that you click on the corresponding folder which matches your system specs or what you're looking for. If you guys are running on sort of medium end systems or high end systems and you want to get the best competitive edge by reducing visual clutter but still keeping a nice looking game and emphasizing on FPS, you're going to want to be going with the recommended competitive config. If you guys are running on a low end system but you want the same effects, go with the low end competitive. If you're on a high end system and want to keep the game looking good but have a nice FPS bump, go with high end and vice versa. For me, I'm going to be installing the recommended competitive folder, so I'm going to be going inside of there. With inside of the folder, you'll then be met with an auto exec and a video configs file. To install this, it's very simple and easy to do. Drag this file over to the right hand side, and we're first off going to be installing our auto exec file. To do this, we're going to be navigating back to the bottom left hand side, typing in Apex like we did earlier, right clicking on the game, and opening file location. Drag this over to the left hand side, right click again, open file location, and you'll then be brought inside of the Apex Legends installation directory. To install the auto exec, we're going to scroll all the way to the top to the CFG folder, and once inside of the CFG folder, we're then going to navigate up to the right hand side, right click on the auto exec and we can either copy or simply drag and drop it inside of here. If you already have an outdated auto exec in there, you can replace the file in this destination. Or if you've not done this optimization before, the file will simply just be dropped inside. Once you guys have done that, we can then go ahead and actually X out of the CFG folder and we can then find the folder to install our video config. For this folder, we need to navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key, navigate up to the Documents tab and click on that once. With inside of it, we then need to go inside of this PC, go to our local disk C drive, go to Users, click on the username in which you've logged into on this PC. For me, that's gonna be this one. And we're then gonna be looking for the Saved Games folder. Go inside of Saved Games, Respawn, Apex, local and with inside of here once again you're going to be finding your video config so simply what we need to go ahead and do is navigate to the right hand side get the brand new optimized video config file drop it with inside of here and replace the file with inside of this destination and you've now successfully installed your optimized season 3 configs we can then go ahead and exit out of both the folders now before booting into the game to tailor and fine tune our in-game settings it's important that we install our brand new optimized launch options for season 3. if we don't have launch options enabled the auto exec file will not be opened by the game nor will most of the optimizations be applied so it's important that you apply the launch options. To do this, navigate back into the FPS increase pack, go to the text document titled launch options and double click. With inside of here, you'll be met with all of the launch options and which you're going to need to install for your game. The only option with inside of here you need to change is your screen's refresh rate. To find out your screen's refresh rate, it's very simple and easy to do. Go to your desktop, right click anywhere and go to display settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, go into advanced display settings and you should then see refresh rate underneath your monitor. As you can see, I'm using a 240 hertz monitor. This could say 59 for you, it could say 190. 19. Whatever the number is, simply round it up to the next digit. For me, that's going to be 240. Your number could be completely different, so set yours according to your number. Then simply go up here to the dash refresh command found here and input the number you're going to be inputting. Once you guys have set the number up correctly, simply take yourself over to the top right hand side to where it says dash full screen, highlight all the way from the right to the left, right click, select copy, and you can then exit out of the launch options and save the launch options. To install the launch options, it's very simple and easy to do. Just simply boot into Origin, whether that's through the desktop or however you do it. Go over to Apex Legends right click on the game, go to game properties, advanced launch options found here at the top, go to where it says command line arguments and if you do currently have any launch options installed remove all of them until the box is blank. We can then go ahead and press control and then V on our keyboard to paste in the new commands then go ahead and press save. At this point what we can go ahead and do assuming we've now installed our launch options and configs we can then go ahead and actually boot into the game to fine tune our in-game settings to set them up to tailor them towards visual quality or FPS depending on how you want your game to be set up. It is to be expected when you're booting into the game after applying a auto exec that the game could take a slight bit longer than usual to boot up. You might also experience a white screen whilst booting into the game but leave it for a few moments time and the game will boot up just fine. Once you guys have booted into the game, it's important that you actually go ahead and actually boot the game into windowed mode so we can set the settings up very easily so you don't have to tab in and out of the game. To do this, take yourself into the bottom right hand side, click on the game menu cog, Go down to the settings tab, go up to the top to the video tab and I'd recommend setting the game to windowed mode and setting it to a resolution of 1280 by 720 regardless of your system specs. We're only going to be doing this currently so we can have the game in a nice windowed mode so we can look at the settings notepad on our PC and copy the settings over easily. Go ahead and do all of this and then hit apply. Go ahead and then drag the game window over to the left hand side or wherever you wish to have it. We're then going to go ahead and open up the FPS increase pack provided once again. Go inside of the configs folder, go to the in-game settings folder this time and with inside of it you're then going to be finding four text documents for high end low end, medium end and ultra low end game settings. For the best results regardless of which config you installed, click on the notepad which best matches your system specs. 
If you guys are running on a high-end system, go with high-end. If you're running on an ultra-low-end potato PC, go with ultra-low-end and vice versa. So assuming that I'm recording this video on my high-end gaming PC, I'm going to be going with high-end. Once you guys open up the notepad, you'll then be given all of the in-game settings in which I recommended that you set up, and I recommend dragging the notepad to the right-hand side of your screen. Once you guys have got the notepad dragged over to the right-hand side of your screen, bring the game back up, and as you can see now, you can simply see the recommended settings on the right-hand side in which you can set up your game simply and easily. So for this, what you'll simply do is go over to display mode, set it to full screen as recommended, and keep following all of these options one by one until you've completed all of the options and they match the ones recommended on the right hand side then go ahead and press apply make sure that you do change your display mode back to full screen and that you do change your in-game resolution back to the resolution which is recommended and which you use this now brings us on to one of the most important optimizations included in this entire video especially for season three and which hasn't been shown in any of my fps increase guides previously there are two custom resolutions i'm going to recommend that you install for your pcs if you game at 1080p so if your standard resolution for games is 1920 by 1080 you're going to want to set up this custom resolution of 1904 by 1071 as this resolution still looks fantastic you'll see very little visual loss but the fps gains from using this resolution are drastic and are definitely worthwhile to set this resolution up you won't be able to select it defaultly in game so you'll have to set up a custom resolution which i'm going to be showing you how to do now set up your game according to the notepad file on which you have opened once everything is set up and applied you can then apply all of your changes and i then recommend taking yourselves back over to the desktop to set up a custom resolution, it's very simple and easy to do. Whether you guys are running on an AMD card or an NVIDIA card, right click on your desktop and select the option for NVIDIA control panel or AMD Radeon settings panel. For NVIDIA users, once inside of the NVIDIA control panel, take yourself over to the top left hand side to display, go to change resolution. With inside of here, come down to the customize button and go down to the bottom to the enable resolutions not exposed by the display check menu found here. Once you guys have checked that, then go ahead and click on create custom resolution. Go up to the horizontal pixels where it says 1920 and change this to 1904. Then navigate over to the right hand side to where it says 1080 and change this to 1071, just like so. Make sure that your refresh rate is set to your screen's default, so don't touch this option. Once you guys are done with inside of there, hit test. Your monitor will then flicker for a second. The new resolution will be displayed. And if you have no visual issues, just save that resolution. Once it's saved, it will then look like so. And there's also another custom resolution for anyone looking to have a stretch resolution, which is also still HD and will improve FPS drastically. You can set up a custom resolution of 1758 by 10. 1080 as well for anyone looking for a 4x3 or 16x10 stretch game if you prefer a stretch resolution. Once you guys have got one or both of those set up, check both of them under the custom box, press OK and you'll then have the options for them found at the top. At that point we can then go ahead and actually exit out of the control panel as that's set up. If you don't have the option for the resolution found with inside of your game by selecting it, if the option doesn't come up, you'll need to close out of your game, boot it back up, and you'll then have the option available to you. So for me, assuming I want the best FPS possible and I play on a high-end gaming PC, I'm going to be going with 1904 by 1071 and I've applied all of my high-end notepad settings found here, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna go ahead to the bottom left-hand side, press the apply button, and we're then gonna go ahead and exit out of the game. It's now important that we apply some optimizations to Windows itself and change the behavior of Apex and other gaming applications to set them at a higher priority with inside of Windows to push more hardware towards them and up the prioritization of processing power going towards them to ensure that you guys are getting the most FPS possible, reducing as much input lag and reducing stuttering you might be experiencing. So to kick things off with this, what we're gonna be doing is navigating inside of the Apex Legends FPS increase pack once again going inside of the optimizations folder, we're going to be going into the reg optimization fixes. With inside of here, you'll find all of the reg fixes easily applyable. You'll simply take yourself from the top to the bottom, click on the registry fix, apply it, move on to the next one and continue on. Now, before we go ahead and actually start applying these registry optimizations, again, I am going to persuade you guys to set up a system restore point if you didn't earlier on in the video. In case anything goes wrong or your system doesn't like these settings, you can simply restore Windows back. If you guys wish to try out these settings or you want to reset your settings back to default, after applying these optimizations, all of the default registry files have been included inside of this folder. So again, what you'll do is you'll go inside of the default reg folders to convert to stock and start by enabling the top one, going all the way down and this will set all of the settings back to the stock settings. But for most of you watching this video, I'm sure you're going to be wanting the optimizations, so let's get straight on into it. Start off with disable DVR1, double click, select yes, yes, okay, that optimization has been applied. Navigate down to disable DVR2, yes, yes, okay, activate the full screen fix, once again, apply all of those settings. Get a game optimizations, apply them once again as well. That's now going to leave us with the low to medium end optimization and the medium to high end optimization. Now, you're not going to be wanting to click on both of these. You're only going to be clicking on one of these files depending on your system spec. So if you're on an ultra low end to medium end system, it's best that you click on the low to medium end optimization as this will give you the best results. If you guys are running on a medium end PC, all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming hardware, click on the medium to high end optimization. See me I'm recording this video on my high end gaming PC, I'm going to be going with the medium to high optimization, so double click, yes, yes, okay, 
and there you go, all of the registry optimizations have now been applied in a few short moments. Once again, if you want to revert all of them back to stock, go inside of the stock folder, enable these, or use the system restore point we set up earlier on. Take yourself to the bottom left hand side, we're going to start off by going into power plan, by typing in power plan, just like so. Click on any of the power plan options, as long as it has this icon found here, click on any of them. Navigate up to the top directory tab, click on where it says power options, go down to the show additional power plans drop down menu, and we're going to be looking for the ultimate performance power plan. If you don't see the ultimate performance power plan, you can enable this power plan with inside of any Windows 10 PC, regardless of spec. It's recommended that you do this, it's free, simple and easy to do, and it applies the most horsepower towards power hungry tasks. If for any reason you don't wish to enable the custom power plan, you can select the high performance power plan, as this should give good enough results. But if you can, take the extra few moments and enable the ultimate performance power plan. To enable the ultimate performance power plan, it's very simple, quick and easy to do. Navigate into the FPS pack provided, go into the command text document, copy the entire command found with inside of here, press copy and exit out. Take yourselves down to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key, type in CMD, right click on command prompt and run this as an administrator. If you don't run the command prompt as an administrator, this command will not be recognized and nothing will happen. Once you guys are inside of the command prompt as an admin, simply go down to the keyboard, press control, then V at the same time, paste the command in, press enter and you'll then be met with power scheme GUID, ultimate performance. At this point you can go ahead and actually exit out of the command prompt, navigate back into the control panel power options, go to the top right hand side to the directory tab, refresh, Go back to the show additional power plans, scroll all the way to the bottom or anywhere, and you should now be seeing ultimate performance. Go ahead over to the ultimate performance power plan, select the option to select it. Once it's been selected, you can then go ahead and exit out of the folder as you're now running on the ultimate performance power plan. Just as important as that optimization is a piggyback step to ensure that we actually optimize that power plan for the best performance possible. To do this, we're going to be navigating inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, going inside of the optimizations folder and going down to the quick CPU setup version 3.0.1.0 included and double clicking. For a brief explanation and demonstration as to what this program does, you can see in the bottom side of the screen now. Go ahead and press next, we set the terms, next, next, install, select yes to any options that come up. Make sure that the launch option down here is ticked once the program installs then press finish, select yes once again and after a few short moments the program will open up. Once the program is booted up you might be notified that a newer version is available, you can update your version if you wish to do so, I tend to not bother so I'm just going to be exiting out. With inside of here to set the program up, it's very simple and easy to do, we're only going to be changing four options. To start off with the options, take yourself over to the top left hand side to the power data plan, go to the drop down menu and select the power plan we set up earlier. If you went with high performance, go with high performance, if you went with ultimate, select ultimate. Once you guys have done that, navigate to the bottom left hand side to core parking index, Drag this all the way up to 100%. Following on from that, go to Frequency Scaling Index. Once again, drag this all the way up to 100%. And last but not least, for some of you watching this video, you might not have this option available, but if you do, go to Turbo Boost Index and once again, drag to 100%. Take yourself to the bottom right hand side after all of those options have been set. Press Apply. It will then notify you that it's successfully been applied. Press OK. And we can then exit out of the program. And that optimization has been applied. That basically just tailors Windows to be able to use 100% of your CPU resources as and when Windows might need it. Proceeding on from there for a very quick fix for most of you guys watching this video, if you are a Discord user, whether you have the program open up in the background to talk to people, or if you don't use voice often but the program is often open in the background, make sure that you do apply this fix as there's no negative sides to this. To apply this fix, navigate down into Discord and open up the application. Once inside of the Discord app, take yourself to the bottom left hand side, go to your user settings cog and click on the user settings. Once inside of here, navigate over to the left hand side to app settings, Scroll down and you should be finding the option for the Appearance tab. In the Appearance tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom to the Advanced section and we're looking for the option titled Hardware Acceleration. Go to the flicker switch and turn this off. Go ahead and press OK to the red warning that comes up and that has now disabled Hardware Acceleration with inside of Discord. That leads us on to some of the final optimizations with inside of this guide to wrap things up. Whether you guys wish to keep your GPU drivers up to date or not, it's important that you take yourself into the FPS increase pack provided by double clicking, going inside of the optimizations folder and going into the GPU settings folder. With inside of here you'll be finding screenshots for both AMD and Nvidia control panels. You can access these control panels by right clicking on your desktop and you'll then be given the Nvidia control panel or AMD Radeon settings panel. Click on the folder corresponding to the graphics card you have and follow along with all of the screenshots found within inside of there for the best settings to give you guys the best performance possible. These are simply settings within inside of the GPU driver themselves in which you can edit. This does not include anything like overclocking, it's completely safe to do and it's recommended that every single person watching follows along with those settings. So with all that said and out of the way, that now leads us on to the last and final optimization for this guide and which is arguably one of the most important within inside of the entire video. Before we apply this optimization, it's recommended that you take yourself to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key, click on the power button by right clicking and select restart to make sure that we restart windows to make sure everything has been booted to make sure all of the registry fixes changes and other power plan changes we might have made with inside of windows have been applied properly and we're good to go with the last and final step 
Welcome back to the video guys, you guys should now restart your PCs and be ready to proceed with the last and final optimization. For the last and final optimization, take yourself into the FPS increase pack provided, go inside of the optimizations folder, and we're going to be wanting to go over to the ISLC folder found within inside of here, drag the folder and place it onto your desktop. At this point, you're probably wondering what this folder contains and why we want to have this on our desktop. This folder contains a program called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This will help you guys free up excess RAM and processes in the background to ensure that you have a RAM buffer or overhead RAM excess to ensure that we're not running into a stuttery mess with inside of most games. I've yet to see a game this has not given benefits with inside of. To set the program up and how to use the program, it's very simple and easy to do. Double click on the folder and open up the program by clicking on the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner application. Go ahead and select yes to any pop-ups that come up. At this point, you might notice that the program might not have actually opened up on your screen. If this is the case, take yourself to the bottom right hand side, click on the icon tray and look for the small monitor found within inside of it and double click. At this point, the program should open up and should look very similar to this. To set the program up, it's very simple and easy to do. We'll start off with the left hand side. So for the first box with inside of here, we're going to be setting the top box to 1024. For the second box, we're going to be setting this number to half of our system RAM or installed memory. You can see the total number of your system memory at the top. So that means that's 16,315 or 16 gigabytes of installed RAM. Whichever your number is up here, roughly half the number and then put it into the bottom box. So for me, assuming mine is 16,000, roughly half of that is around about 8196, just like so which equals eight gigabytes. Again, your number might be different. Once you guys have got that set up, take yourself over to the right hand side, click on the option to enable the custom time resolution, go down to wanted time resolution, and set this to a value of 0 0.50, and simply remove the other zeros off the end so it looks similar to this. Once you guys have got all of those options set up according to your system specs, to start the program, it's very simple and easy to do. Simply take yourself up to the top, click on Purge Standby List, go to the bottom right hand side, click Start, and the program is now running in the background, constantly cleaning out your memory and making sure that you have a buffer there, alongside enabling the custom time resolution, which will help reduce input lag, boost FPS, and make your game a lot more snappier and responsive. At this point, we're then going to minimize out the program, and all there is left to do is to go ahead and actually boot into Apex Season 3. And there you guys have it. That is my ultimate FPS increase guide for Apex Legends Season 3. This guide has offered you guys a ton of new optimizations building upon my previous guide. Or if this is the first video of mine in which you've watched, it'd be absolutely fantastic if you guys could leave a like on the video if you are happy with the results. Alongside that, if you guys can take yourself into the comment section down below to leave me any results, questions or queries, it's always fantastic to hear from you guys and hear the feedback in which you have to give. Alongside that, if you guys do enjoy my content and wish to stay up to date, whether that's with the new and upcoming updates to Apex Legends or other community suggested content coming to the channel, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever I upload. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Hopefully it has been worthwhile. I'm Panjno and I'll see you in the next one.